Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy in Fifth Kill, as you know, and today what I've got for you is another episode of the 100 plus series. I'm not sure exactly what episode this is, but as you can see, we are on the map breach this time. Um, you'll notice there is something a little bit different about this gameplay as well. Uh, I am using the Brecky. It's a little bit out of the ordinary, I know, but like I said in the last video, I want to start getting a bit more versatility into my videos, you know, little start using different things, different guns, and I thought what better way to start off than the Brecky, because I know that the Brecky is a gun that I get asked to use an absolute ton. It's also of quite a fun weapon to use honestly especially in hardcore um but it's something just people ask me to use all the time and uh you know i don't know why people want to watch it so much i guess it's just fun to watch i do enjoy watching people go on a tear with this sometimes uh so uh, yeah speaking of going on a tear i go on an absolute beast streak at the end i just completely tear it ruin up so be looking out for that at around the end of the video also at the end of the video i'm gonna run through my class setup and I, everybody's also always asking me for a class setup for the brekkie and also the same class setup really apply, uh, applies to all the shotguns so if you would like one of my shotgun class setups then wait for the end for that as well so if that's something you're interested in, stick around till then. Anyways, throughout the gameplay, you know, you're going to see me just going on a tear and wrecking. But in hardcore, I would definitely suggest, especially for this map, using a brekkie. I don't know. That just seems like a really dominant weapon. Uh, if you got that long barrel on it, then as you'll see in the video, you can kill people from across the entire map, it seems. Almost like a sniper. Like, these things really have no bounds to them. Any weapon in hardcore, pretty much, um... I'd say like 90% of the weapons are a one shot from pretty much any range and uh, the Brecky, you know, and it increases the range by an absolute ton and you can one shot people. It's ridiculous and also the main thing with hardcore if you want to be a good player in there is to get the first shot off. That is honestly the most important thing that you will ever learn about playing hardcore is if you get the first shot off then you will almost always win that gunfight because obviously you do die in one bullet so, you know, if you get the first shot off then you are much more likely to win but being accurate with that shot is also very, very important because if someone goes, you know, run around the corner, tries to shoot me and they miss and then I kill them, you know, obviously I've come out on top there even if they shot the first bullet. So, you know, it's a little bit of everything. It's reaction time and accuracy and preciseness. Uh, but, you know, when you have a shotgun, that doesn't really apply. You know, you got that shotgun, there's like millions of bullets flying around everywhere. So you really don't need to worry about accuracy as much. So maybe it's a little bit better of a, a weapon if you're really not trying to try your absolute hardest and sweat completely. Or maybe your aim isn't completely great at that time. Or you're just starting out as a player and you know you're trying to train yourself up. You don't even have to aim in with this weapon. In fact, I would advise against aiming in with this weapon. Just run around and hit fire it as you'll see I do most of the time you know so that can definitely be a beneficial tactic and it really doesn't take that much off your range and it also means that with that first shot you really don't have to be that precise just fire in that general direction and you should get away with that kill so um and that's something really useful. Another thing, um, as some of you guys might know, I feel like a lot of you will know this, I've had Dark Matter an absolute ton of times. I haven't got it on my personal uh, account yet, just because I haven't really had time to go for it. But, you know, we did the Dark Matter stream together. We did, like, a few of them on Doom accounts. I've helped out a lot of my buddies getting it. Um, for example, like, Superior and Scuff, you know, I've helped those dudes with it. And, uh, so yeah, I'm quite well trained in terms of Dark Matter. Really, the only weapon I haven't done is the Combat Knife, and I'm kind of dreading using that. That's going to be pretty bad but um yeah everybody's always asking me tips to get dark matter quicker because you know being like obviously you want to ask tips from someone who's already been there done that had a little bit of experience and from experience the best way to get through the dark matter challenges for the shotguns uh, mainly the brekkie and the haymaker you know the two semi auto slash full eye auto fully automatic whatever you want to call them shotguns is to play hardcore or just normal core but the main tip with that is to hip fire people always think you know you want to be precise hitting people in the head then you got to aim in and you know hit them in the head but that is not the case at all you get double if not triple if not quadruple i don't know exactly how many it is but i get countless like amounts more headshots if i'm hip firing than if i'm aiming in because if you're aiming in you have to be really accurate and also you got that bullet spread so there is a chance it'll go somewhere else but i found that if i do hip fire uh in the general direction of the head obviously you don't want to aim at their feet and then shoot and hope for a headshot but if you aim in the general direction of someone's head uh, and you hit fire with a shotgun, then there is a very, very good chance that you will hit them in the head. And I know this is something that people on stream told me, a ton of my friends 
told me who'd had dark matter previous to me while I was doing the race. You know, they were out there grinding for that dark matter. This is a tip that they gave me, so shout out to everybody who already knew that. Um, but yeah, hip firing is definitely the best. You have a lot better chance of using, uh, again, headshots. And that's just something people are always asking me, and I thought, what better time to uh, discuss this than in a video where I'm using a shotgun, for example, one of the ones that you would be doing this tactic for. Obviously, it doesn't matter um, as much for the KRM and the Argus, as those two are one-shot kill weapons, the headshots aren't um, a factor in getting dark matter with these guns. You know, it's always helpful to know how to get headshots anyway, just because, I don't know, that might be something you like doing, or you just want to kill people faster. So really, shotguns, um, they're more for any type of player. If you're a really elite player and you just want to have some fun, you know, you can do that. Or, you know, for the beginning player who's just learning out, I'd say shotguns are probably the best type of weapon you could use. You know, it really teaches you how to play the game, and also it teaches you how to rush, because with a shotgun, the idea is that you have to get close to the enemy team that is the whole point and it gets you moving around the map you know it stops you from camping it gets you a little bit more mobile and obviously that's going to make you better as a player so definitely if you are trying to improve or just you know change your play style up a little bit feel things are feeling a bit stale the game's feeling a bit boring and you want to spice it up a little definitely try playing with a shotgun and maybe even on hardcore as well um, just running around the map because that's what a shotgun will do it will force you to do that it will force you just to move around the map a lot more and also just running around the map using a shotgun on hardcore in specific will train you in many many ways as a player because it will train you uh, things like just tactical thinking in general like when you should run out where you should go in order to not be shot because you know that if you're at a long distance and you're you know against an SMG then that guy's gonna kill you whether your shotgun shoots across the map or not and a lot of the time you know you can get outranged to the point where the shotgun cannot hit the enemy and that can be a big problem so obviously your brain is constantly working on which ways you should run and things like that and uh, you know that's the main thing with shotguns and hardcore in particular because you know that you're gonna die to one bullet so you're thinking a lot more um, self-preservation wise and you know you're trying to keep yourself alive taking all the back alleys finding different routes maybe running in different ways your running styles getting better and everything's just getting a little bit better as a player whilst you're using a shotgun on hard hardcore in like you know in general in specific that type area so if you are looking to improve as a player do that if you are looking to get dark matter then that is a good tip for that as well I just thought I'd cover them because they're things I get asked all the time how do you get better as a player dark matter is another big one XP I might make a video on getting XP at some point but I've made lots of videos with other people about getting XP so let me know if that is something you guys would like to see in the comment section below because I know that people ask for tips all the time especially XP tips from someone who's like won a race or something like that or gotten a really fast prestige you know people want tips from people who know what they're doing obviously that's the whole point of a tip you know you're learning how to do something and what better way to ask and or learn than from somebody who already knows so that's probably the best thing you can do um but yeah if you are trying to get better or even just have some fun definitely go into hardcore with a shotgun try that or even a pistol the pistols seem to be one shots too and that's just a good time you know it's a little bit of fun you can have on the side if the game is getting boring because obviously you're not going to have a good time with it if it's boring and you also seem to get a lot more mad a lot more quickly so um Anyways, this gameplay is coming up to a wrap here. I'm going to quickly run through the class setup um, so that you guys, you know, can do your own thing. Obviously, you don't have to follow it precisely. Uh, you can change it to be how you want, but this is roughly what I'm using. This isn't exactly the class I'm using, but this is along the lines, and usually this is what I use in a brekkie, but it really doesn't matter what you use, you know, as long as you're using one of the guns. Um... But yeah, the actual attachments you use on the gun or the weapon itself, it doesn't really matter. That's just personal preference for you and anything you may decide. Um, but yeah, anyway, I would run the Brecky. You definitely want long barrel. That is something you 100% want. You also will want fast mags, especially on hardcore, because you know, you're going to be trying to get into the spawn so you can get them quick streaks and get a lot of kills. So you want to be reloading quickly because you don't want to get caught in a situation where you run out of ammo. You know, all the enemies around the corner and you just can't reload in time. You also want extended mags so you don't have to reload as often and that can also help you in that situation and you know you can kill more people at one time so that's never a bad thing so those three perks are really the compul uh, or attachments are really the compulsory ones I can think of anything oh, um anything else is really optional and uh, you can mix and match switch everything up obviously with every single class setup I give you you can mix and match and switch everything up it's just a basic guideline uh, the foundations of a class you can obviously copy exactly if that's something you're interested in but you know it's just a basic idea for a class that you can alter to make your own and make you play better as a player as always no secondaries tacticals or lethals perk 1 I would run afterburner and then overclock perk 2 scavenger and then finally tack moss like I mentioned in the last video tactical moss is one of the best perks you can possibly 
get on hardcore because you know people are throwing stuns and like I mentioned before that first bullet can be the most crucial thing in the entire game it can be the difference between a nuke and not a nuke and many other things like that maybe a full set of streaks or not a full set of streaks so you know tactical mask can definitely save your life a lot anyway this video is coming to an end here so I hope you did enjoy the gameplay and I hope you enjoyed the commentary if you did drop a like in the video if you're new hit that sub button if you are enjoying the videos and would like to see more um, if you would like to see more and um, you know then go back and watch some of my older videos there's there's also some, some good content there and also if you would like to see content from my channel in the future that I'm not currently doing let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see from my channel in the future I tried to go through as many comments as I can so let me know down there